this time we're going to be celebrating, making most of the time in a very special way. We have a, a special baptism this day. And if the baptism family would come forward at this time. One of the things that when I think of this song that is, I'm so blessed by is that this song reminds us that um, we are to be stewards of our time. And I think there's nothing like having a baby in our presence to remind us of the beginning of life. To remind us that each of us that have children or grandchildren or nieces or nephews or others that are children, that we are to be, <laughs> that we are to be those that, that bless them by raising them in the way of the Lord. And this um, celebration that we are experiencing this day is one of those ways that we pause and have a Kairos moment here in a church, a sacred moment where we reflect on how each of us are called to be stewards of not only our own time, but those that we are raising in the faith. Amen? In the early days, God used water in many ways as a symbol of purification, of separateness, of holiness. Water was used to separate water from the land in the time of creation. He used it again of Noah in the time of the flood to purify the world. In the time of Moses, he used water as a symbol as he separated the Red Sea to deliver them from slavery in Egypt. Joshua parted the Jordan River when he entered into the the Holy Land, the Promised Land given to him by God. And even Jesus himself used the symbolism of water through John the Baptist when he himself was baptized as a symbol of righteousness. We use this water this day as a symbol of purification, of, of setting apart and being made holy. Let us pray. Bless the Lord, the symbol of water. Lord, we ask that your Holy Spirit trouble this water as this water was brought over from Israel by Deb and I and we were in the Jordan River I remember that sacred moment of the water being troubled I remember the swirling of the stream and your presence being made known there you used this symbol of water in such a precious way and we ask that you bless this water that is here this day that your spirit be in it that as we lay it on this trial and we have this sacred moment with you that you remind us that you are with us all of our days. In your name we pray. Amen. I ask you as parents and as sponsors, do you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Please respond. We do. And do you promise to raise Tyler in the Christian faith that is open to all ages, nations, and races? Please respond. We will. What name giveth you this child this day? Tyler Christopher Beamer. I baptize you, Tyler Christopher Beamer, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May God bless you and keep you now and forevermore. Amen. I'll be bringing Tyler out into the congregation. And as we do so, there'll be a couple of symbolic acts that we'll be doing. First of all, the the, the um, sponsoring couple, Becky and Chad, will be signing the documents of baptism, signifying that they were here to witness for Tyler this day and to help raise him in the Christian faith. And they do so now. Likewise, when I bring the, uh, the Tyler onto the congregation, this is our opportunity to respond. There'll be some words on the screen for you to read as a form of prayer. And as we do that, we are symbolically saying that each and every one of us are counting the days. Each and every one of us are raising Tyler in the Christian faith. So when you get called on to teach a Sunday school class, bring snacks on a Sunday, um, serve in a small group, whatever you're called to serve, we do that because each of us have made a commitment to care for one another. Right, Tyler? All right. Let us please respond. With God's help, we will so order our lives after the example of Christ that this child, surrounded by steadfast love, may be established in the faith and confirmed and strengthened in a way that leads to life eternal. Let us now welcome Tyler as the newest member of the household of God. Sherry is our worship director is bringing a gift on behalf of our congregation of a Bible and some other things for the, the parents. And we do this, I'm sure you can stay up here. Come on. Sherry is our children's director if you haven't met her, and she is a huge blessing in our congregation. 
And so, as you get to know Sherry, she's also saying a pledge with you, that she wants to help you to raise Tyler in the Christian faith. And so we make that pledge on behalf of our entire congregation, and we take that pledge seriously. And so Sherry will be spending time with you, getting to know you better and figure out a discipleship plan for Tyler as he continues to grow in his faith.